What's good, everybody? And welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.V. Now, check it out. I know you guys read that title, right? So listen, I don't know how to say tots without like really laughing. You know I'm getting ready to make some loaded tots, right? I'm gonna make it two ways. One of the things about this is I'm gonna show you like an easy way, throw them in the oven, just, you know, do whatever you gotta do. Once they come out of the oven, we can put them together. And then I'm gonna show you how to make them. We are gonna turn them over the top. So without me over talking it, I just wanna go ahead and break into these ingredients and let's get it. Now you see these ingredients, right? Listen, you don't even need, okay, half is for one way, half is for the other. I'm gonna start off by showing the simple way. This right here, I'm gonna be doing these in my, you know, my little small cast iron uh, skillet. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do them in this. You guys gonna probably put them on a baking sheet, right? And that'll be these tater tots. So we got tater tots going inside of this. We're gonna sprinkle some, this is just already ready-made. Uh, this is a Mexican blend of uh, shredded cheese. Of course, we gotta have, you know, we gotta have some bacon because we said they loaded, so you gotta sprinkle that bacon on there. And then right here, I got a package, right? This is a package of that uh, Hidden Rally. This, listen, Hidden Valley, you know, these are for your dips, right? So this is your chive and onion, and that'll go on your sour cream. Now, that'll be like the easy way. Now, when you wanna make it and go over the top, this is what we are gonna do. Now, you see this right here? This that block cheese. This melts much better. We are gonna make a cheese sauce. Then right here, you see I got some diced onions. These diced onions right here, I'm gonna use these because we are gonna saute these down. We are gonna sprinkle these over the top. And then instead of putting these in the oven, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you right now, I got my deep fryer. I'm gonna go ahead and deep fry them and get that nice, you know, that real crisp on them and go from there. Listen, and then we are gonna go ahead, chop some of these up and look how healthy these are. I gotta say heads up to my local market right here, man, cause they have some nice green onions. Anyway, I'm gonna chop these up and we are gonna put them on top and then we are gonna decorate them. Super easy, it's up to you. If you wanna go over the top and just make them like super delicious, we are gonna go ahead and make everything with the cheese sauce. If not, we are gonna melt the cheese. Enough said, let's get it. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of these in my tray, I mean in my, my skillet. Now I know they're supposed to be flat, but this is the way I'm gonna do them like this. Halfway through them, I'm gonna go ahead and just flip them and rotate them. Now you wanna follow the instructions that's on your bag. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. I got it already preheated and ready to go. We're gonna get these started first. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Now here, I'm just counting out, you know, I started off with just like six slices. Now that's up to you. You can cut them how you want to. If you cut them big, don't forget, you're making them like bits, so you can always break them, you know, at the end. But these are the size that I like. Okay, let me go ahead. I'm setting on medium high. Hit start. What I wanna do is once it's come up to heat, you know, to temp, then we're just gonna put our bacon in here. Then we're gonna get that going, right? Then we're gonna set it aside, and then we're gonna go ahead and start shredding our, we're gonna start shredding some of that uh, cheese. Okay, it's up to temp. Listen, I didn't put no oil in here because obviously we doing bacon, right? So listen, it's gonna render down enough fat and this is gonna get us started. Okay, meanwhile, listen, we gonna multitask. So we got our, you know, we got our, our bacon. It's working and rendering down, right? Leaving a lot of fat in there because you know, we gotta put these, these onions in there. Okay, but anyway, we're gonna let these just keep working. I'm gonna leave them alone so they can cook. Let's just make sure we got most of them flat, right? Now, we'll set this off to the side. Now is our time. It's time to shred. Now, I don't know if you guys have been following me for a minute and you've seen some of my past videos. I talk about shredded cheese. Fresh shredded cheese melts best. So, we're just gonna go and we're just gonna start. I'm not gonna bore you guys. You know how to shred cheese. I'm just gonna go ahead and just get a lot and then uh, we'll move on to the next step. Okay. We done there, right? So I'm gonna set this off to the side. Now we're gonna go ahead and start, you know, getting our uh, garnish together. Now I know I said garnish, but listen, it actually has a good onion taste to it also. And then listen, you can do the green, the tops of the green onions, and you can do the white also. Now you guys see these, right? This is where I like them right here. A little bit on the soft side. You know what, they're gonna continue to cook. You know, even though we take them out of here and offer this heat, they're just gonna like crisp up just a little bit more. But this is good. I don't like them too crispy. This is just the way I like them. They're gonna end up being perfect. Now, go ahead, get, get yourself a bowl, take those out. And when you take them out, you wanna make sure you got some kind of, you know, paper, just to absorb some of the grease that's in there, right? So, we got that ready. 
Now what you want to do is get yourself like a slotted spoon, you know, something like that so that you can drain some of the grease or you can use a pair of tongs. And that there is the fire. Okay, so now I'm bringing my bacon grease, right? I'm bringing that back up to temp because what we're going to do, we're going to put these inside and we're going to saute these. Then when we're done with that, once I get these going, then I'm going to go ahead and get my sour cream ready. Everything should be coming out of the oven and then we're going to start deep frying and we're going to go from there. All right, here we go. Let's move them around, get everything coated. And then we're gonna let this take its, you know, do its thing. Medium high heat, you guys. And be careful not to stir it so tough, that way you won't be pushing none outside of your pan. So, just like you see here, and we're gonna let that start to render down. All right, I'm gonna set this off to the side. Now, look, no real measurement, just whatever you get out. You see this, this is the tablespoon, but this is a little bit more than a tablespoon. I'm gonna take out, mm, we'll just say three. Three heaping tablespoons, right? We'll just start there. Now I showed you guys this package. You could use this packet, just put like a teaspoon in there, mix it and you make this to your liking, right? But for me, I got so much ranch, you know what I mean? We eating so many salads around here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of tablespoons of ranch dressing inside of my sour cream. So, we'll just add it like this. All right, we'll start there. And then what we do is we'll mix it up, we'll taste it, and then we'll move forward. Get yourself a whisk, or you can do it old school way. And you can uh, go ahead and use, a, you know, the fork. Now, once you got everything mixed up, right, you wanna taste it. And if you need to add a little bit more ranch or vice versa, now's the time. And then just go ahead and remix it and then you're done with that. And for me, I like to put a little green onion in there and just mix it up. And this right here is done. So we'll set that off to the side, move this over, bring this back in. Now, when it comes to like grilling your onions, it's up to you how far down you wanna go. If you want them to be more on the darker side, all you gotta do is let them continue to cook don't let them dry out, you know what I mean? And they'll just start getting dark on you. Now, don't forget, I'm using an induction top, right? So the heating element is right here. So when using one of these, you keep everything towards the center. Listen, this, this is where the heat comes and it has to spread over. So anything that's over here on the edge, like what you're seeing right now, you know, it doesn't get the full effect of the heat. So I like to keep it moving, give everybody a chance to be in the center, you know? And uh, we just let it cook. I'm gonna say, I'm probably only gonna go about another three more minutes maybe. And then uh, after that, we're gonna put this in the bowl and then we're gonna start to deep fry our tots. Now you guys can do it either way. Oven is good, cause that's what they, they made for to go right in the oven. But for me, I'm gonna show you that way and I'm gonna show you the deep fried way. Okay, this is far down as I'm going with my, uh, my onions. I'm liking this right here. Let's just go ahead and get these ready and I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. Now, my timer just went off, look. My tots that came out the oven, they ready, those are nice. Now remember, this is the easy version, right? So most of us have like, uh, I'll say shredded cheese like in the, in the you know, in our uh, refrigerator, right? So we just like sprinkle that on there and while it's hot, it'll start to melt. Then I come with the uh, bacon bits and then, you know, then our sour cream mix. Listen, I wanna say this right now, listen, there's no wrong way or right way to put these together. You put these, you know, you assemble yours the way you want to. It's just a, you know, fact that you got it and it's almost like a loaded baked potato except for we using tots. And then out here in California, they got a place and they call them uh, dino eggs. Hey, so with that being said, check that out. That's the easy version. Tell me what you think. Okay, so now I'm set up to go ahead and start my cheese sauce, right? So let me go ahead and bring this up to temp. As this comes up to temp, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you the ingredients. We're gonna hit it with two tablespoons. You know, this is just all purpose flour. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some uh, two tablespoons of butter. Now here's the thing, listen, we already gonna sprinkle, right? We already gonna sprinkle some bacon, so why not just use two tablespoons if you guys have been saving your bacon fat and just go with the bacon fat and this. But if not, you know you can go ahead and use butter. Now, what you wanna do is, once this come up to there, we're gonna go ahead Get this going and get it cooked down so we can get rid of that raw taste. Then we're gonna add some of that fresh cheese. That's this right here. So let's get it started. 
Now, what you do is you start melting your butter, right? You let your melt, once your butter starts to melt, go ahead and start to introduce some of your flour. Then you wanna keep that whisk moving and cook some of that flour taste, that raw flour taste out. And then you start adding your milk. Now remember, if you're looking at this and you've been following me for a minute, you know this is just like making the roux, right? That's exactly what you see, except this is just a cheese sauce. So you start putting a little cheese in a little bit at a time, and you'll watch it start to thick up, thicken up. Now, if it thickens up too much, all you gotta do is, you saw what I did right there, just add yourself a little milk and keep that whisk moving until you get the consistency that you are looking for. Now, take a look at this consistency right here. It's up to you. If you guys want it to be even thicker, you can do that too. But this is right here is what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna show you before I even add some salt. This right here is why the mac and cheese tastes so good. If you guys made it, it's all in this sauce right here. And this right here, let me bring it so you guys can see. You gotta get yourself some. I'll put the information on the screen so you guys can use the uh, see the website. And listen, it got a 10% discount code. Gotta be the AB10. You guys gotta try it. Hey, listen, ain't no try, it's a must. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit in here. Now you saw that I only put a little bit in, right? You always wanna put a little bit of, a little bit of anything that when you're cooking, cause you can always add more. And because of the sweet Smoky Joe's is like super light on the sodium, I sprinkled just a little bit of, you know, a pinch or two of salt in there just to get the taste. You know what I mean? Just to like waking it up. Then once you taste it, look at that consistency right there. Now. Go ahead, drop your, you know, your tots, or if you multitasking, however you're doing it, get your tots ready, right? Get them. Once they done, listen, you put them on a plate, and now it's time to do our thing. Now that right there, listen, that's that pulled pork. If you guys just watched the video that I just released on barbecue pulled pork, that's some of the leftover pulled pork that I had. So listen, I put that on top of the tots. You guys can use any type of meat you want. Go ahead and hit it with your, you know, your creamy cheese sauce, and that right there is them grilled onions. Now, you make your onions again the way you like them. It doesn't make a difference. If you wanna go dark, dark, you can do that too. Now, just assemble it, just like, you know, however you want to, whatever side you wanna put on there, you know, you can come with the bacon bits. There is no order, I promise you guys. I just really wanna just like kick back and just like look at this piece of artwork, you know, being made. Hey, that right there is fire, y'all. So, you can see it, decorate it however you want to, or your presentation, let's go ahead and use the correct words. But other than that, that's what I got for you guys. Listen, crispy loaded tater tots. So tell me what you guys think about this one. You know what, listen, super easy, and I gotta say this, usually like at the end of my videos, right, I like to eat them. Here it is right here. I'm gonna have to like redo something else, cause look, the sour cream and ranch, this ranch sour cream is starting to like just slide down. Hey, the problem is that first one that I showed you guys, listen, everybody ate it and look, I didn't even get no thumbnail. So I got to get the thumbnail from this right here. So listen, trust me when I tell you it's good. Now I done took a couple of little tots, you know, dipped it, put a couple of uh, bacon pieces in my mouth, you know what I mean? I can tell you it's fire. Hey, listen, we make this all the time around here. Now you see it, you know how easy it is. Let me know down in the comment section below, what would you put on the top? Hey, and then you know what? I really got to address this part. For those of you guys that do not eat pork, listen, you could put steak on the top, any type of meat you like. Hey, but I'm gonna give you a heads up. Hey, number one in my book, it'd be pastrami. Hey, so with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just say, thank you for watching this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell everybody out here, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And if you've been following me for a minute, you know what I'm about to say, folks. I'm out of here. Peace.